today, turning this old fridge into this. The hardware in here is super cool. So we're gonna take that off, clean it up, take all the junky stuff off, all the refrigeration parts off. We can paint this thing, get some shelves inside, it should be looking cool. I have no idea what they used as a spacer. Gauze pad wrappers? Ah! Oh, Store's heavy. What the heck is in here? There's wood in here. In a fridge. So the only place in this fridge that actually has refrigerant running through it is this ice box. And that line comes up to the top and then to the back and then down to the bottom. That's all in the exterior of the fridge. So, and then take the whole refrigeration unit off as one and then pay to get it properly disposed. This is a sweet door. They use this for something. This is so cool. That guy's pretty cool too. Goal is many thin coats. <laughs> Surface prep. This is the part that I always screw up because I'm impatient. I'm gonna try super hard to go slow and do lots of coats because I already spent way too much time stripping this thing down. Peaceful blue. Third coat. Number four. Numero cinco. The sixth and final coat. So the next step is gonna be making the top of the fridge. Oh. I wanted to share the video of me making this top. Unfortunately, I had some slight technical difficulties, but I took some logs that I had been drying in my garage for a couple of years, milled them up, and made this top out of them. Third try. Gotta round these little corners off.
There are a few surface defects in here that I'm gonna fill in with walnut inlays. It should be pretty easy with the router. I'm pretty new to this video thing. So if you could like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Stainless steel inserts to attach to the fridge. I needed to make some studs and mounting pieces for the inside that will be hidden, so I just used some scrap 2 by A lot of this project involved cutting large pieces of plywood to specific sizes to fit in weird crevices in this fridge. I'm not gonna show all of them, but here are a few. Ouch. So I'm over here trying to test fit these pieces for the sides. There's no way to get this in. So the back piece will have to be cut in half and have two pieces, one on each side. Inside the fridge, I'm taking those studs and mounting them to the back of the plywood faces so that when I drill holes for the shelves, I have a thicker support than just the plywood. Half inch oak dowels to support the shelves. There's a slight notch cut out. When I put it in the hole, that notch is just behind the surface. And when you put a shelf on, that little shoulder will keep it from coming out. Cabinet serial number 855095B336, which I think means it was made in 1936, based on the research I've done on the fridge. So this guy's going back inside, but we're gonna add a little something to it, clean it up and all that jazz. Wish I got it right the first time, because now it's a little chunkier than I like, but what are you gonna do? On the inside of the fridge, the bottom and the two shelves are all out of pieces of a dresser that I found on the side of the road. I believe it was made of poplar, it was in okay condition, stripped it down, and was able to reuse this wood. It was important to me when designing this fridge that it have wheels so it's easy to move around. I've used these casters in other projects, they work great, they lock really well, however I wanted to hide them. I've been wanting to try some stacked plywood for a while, and I thought that aesthetic matched this vintage fridge pretty well, so I figured that would be a good way to cover up the casters. The test layout looks good. You can see here there will be a groove underneath of the first layer, 
which is how it will stay on the fridge. I screwed up and cut this whole piece too narrow, so I had to make a little spacer, but it will work. I use simple finish for all the wood components in this project. It's super easy to use and it seals up pretty nicely. Shout out to the guys that make simple finish, also the guys from the Modern Maker Podcast, Mike, Chris, and Ben. They're the ones that inspired me to make videos of my projects. Thanks for the inspiration and thanks for simple finish. Gotta clean up this hardware. Add some support on the bottom of the fridge so that the casters would be well supported taking the weight of the fridge and everything that will go inside. I almost forgot about the cleats to hold on the cool bottom part. I could not be any more excited about this thing. I was nervous. It took so many hours of grinding and painting and sanding, and it just turned out great. So I'm super happy with it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.